Hi, a big hello to all my nursery friends and to all the children at Cantrell School. Last time I read the story all about Mr Gumpy's outing. That was when Mr Gumpy was in his boat. Well, Mr Gumpy's got a motor car too, so I thought you'd like this story. So this one is Mr Gumpy's motor car by John Burningham. Mr Gumpy was going for a ride in his car. He drove out of the gate and down the lane. There he is, sitting in his motor car. May we come too, said the children. May we, said the rabbit, the cat, and the dog, the pig, the sheep, the chickens, the calf and the goat. All right, said Mr Gumpy, but it will be a squash. And they all piled in. There they all are, look, in Mr Gumpy's motor car. It's a lovely day, said Mr Gumpy. Let's take the old cart track across the fields. For a while they drove along happily. The sun shone, the engine chugged, and everyone was enjoying the ride. I don't like the look of those clouds. I think it's going to rain, said Mr Gumpy. Very soon, the dark clouds were right overhead. Mr Gumpy stopped the car. He jumped out, put up the hood, the hood on the car, the roof, and down came the rain. The road grew muddier and muddier and the wheels began to spin. Mr Gumpy looked at the hill ahead. Some of you will have to get out and push, he said. Not me, said the goat. I'm too old. Not me, said the calf. I'm too young. Not us, said the chickens. We can't push. Not me, said the sheep. I might catch cold. Not me, said the pig. I've a bone in my trotter. Not me, said the dog. But I'll drive if you like. Not me, said the cat. It would ruin my fur. Not me, said the rabbit. I'm not very well. Not me, said the girl. He's stronger. Not me, said the boy. She's bigger. The wheels began to churn. and No one helped Mr Gumpy. The car sank deeper into the mud. Now we're really stuck, said Mr Gumpy. And this time, they all got out and pushed. They pushed and shoved and heaved and strained and gasped and slipped and slithered and squelched. Slowly, the car began to move. Don't stop, cried Mr Gumpy. Keep it up, we're nearly there. Everyone gave a mighty heave. The tyres gripped. The car edged its way to the top of the hill. They looked up and saw the sun was shining. We'll drive home across the bridge, said Mr Cumpy. There'll be time for a swim. And there they all are, swimming up. This is Mr Gumpy's house. They're outside Mr Gumpy's house and they're in the river having a swim. Goodbye, said Mr Gumpy. Come for a ride another day. I hope you enjoyed my story and I hope to see you all soon. Bye.